when deer looked at the final tier four, there were many challenges from the lowest horsepower all the way up to the highest horsepower. It actually led us to three basic engine platforms that we offer today. It's going to be our EWX platform, which uses a simple technology of DLC, diesel oxidation catalyst and diesel particulate filter. And then we also have what we call a PWL type platform, which is a diesel oxidation catalyst only type technologies without a filter. And then we also have the third platform, which includes EGR, exhaust gas recirculation, also includes a diesel oxidation catalyst, a diesel particulate filter, and now the addition of SCR. So with the complexity of those different market segments that we basically compete in, it takes different levels of technologies to meet each of the different customer needs. The final tier four technology path that we've chosen uses key components to make sure we can not only meet the emission regulation, but we can also deliver on our customers' need for productivity, uptime, and low daily operating costs. So this emission control package in the skid steer loader is actually a final tier four equipped engine, less than 75 horsepower. Unlike the engines greater than 175 horsepower, this engine does not require the use of diesel exhaust fluid. What it does require is the use of an after-treatment device. It's also a good example of an, a vehicle that has unique requirements compared to other vehicles. The first unique requirement, and it's probably is no surprise, skid steers and compact track loaders are compact equipment. They need to be as small as possible, and putting a final tier four engine in a compact vehicle can sometimes be a challenge. The other unique requirement is that skid steers and compact track loaders, and to a great extent other compact equipment, is very, uh, run very cyclically. So a customer will come in, they'll start the vehicle up, they may only run it for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, they'll shut the piece of equipment down, leave, and then come back a couple hours later. So you have cycles that are very short duration in time, but they may be very high load and a lot of starting and stopping of a vehicle. And it's important that the final tier four emission systems are able to keep up with that cycling of load. And that's something that manufacturers are focused on, making sure that they can meet those customer requirements regardless of what their emission level is. When you compare John Deere interim tier four engines to our final tier four engines, we're going to see approximately a one to 4% reduction in diesel fuel consumption. When you look at the other part of the fluid economy then, the diesel exhaust fluid piece, we're going to see some of the lowest death consumption rates in the industry, somewhere between one and three percent.